Okay, hello everyone, I'm John Furrier with SiliconANGLE The Cube. You're watching a special edition on the ground inside the Palo Alto studio to reveal the Cube Madness 2015 Tech Athlete Region. Cube Madness is our annual fun showdown between our CUBE alumni, the best interviews, and the Tech Athlete Division is going to be revealed today. This is our selection show. I'm joined with Ariana, Ariana Gradau uh, with CrowdChat. Uh, we're going to release the Tech Athlete Region today. Yeah, get ready to bleed some CUBE madness. We're here. This is lots of fun, very exciting. How are you feeling about everything? I feel good. I think the CUBE madness really is our March madness of our best of the best alumni, and we're going to reveal the selection. So why don't you start and All right. show us the names. We'll do the analysis of the, of the selection. All right, so we're going through the tech athlete region. Uh, run to begin, we'll start with Deborah Norville from CBS, running up against Michael Dell, of course, from Dell. What are your predictions? What are your thoughts? Who do you think has uh, got the edge? Well, first of all, two awesome matchups. That's uh, going to be interesting to watch. Deborah Norville has had a great interview at Inforum, part of the Infor event. Obviously, Dell, Michael Dell, the founder of M Dell Computer, that he started in his dorm room. Um, two powerhouses. You know, Deborah's Twitter card performance on Twitter was amazing. She's beautiful, an amazing interview. But De Michael Dell has the most social mojo, so it's going to be an interesting matchup to see who has the most activation of their mm -hmm. audiences. I think I might have to give that one to Michael Dell. Hmm. So All right. my prediction is Michael Dell will move forward. Deborah Norville does, does have a big following, though. We'll see. She's Might got the, the upper hand on that one. She's got the CBS platform, but Michael Dell has got the social mojo. All right. We're going to move on. We got Lone Jeffe of SyncSort versus Rob Bearden of Hortonworks. What are your thoughts? What's interesting is Hadoop Summit uh, interviews from 2014, both uh, technique techies, both in the open source. Obviously, Rob Bearden's got a huge following. Um, from the open source community, but uh, SyncSort is kind of a niche software provider in the mainframe area, but two powerhouses, and I would have to give the edge to, sorry Rob Bearden, but Lon has got an amazing <laughs> social media marketing machine. They retweet everything, so you got one who's got the quality CEO, super busy public company, um, versus Lon, the marketing Twitter machine. So unless the Hortonworks team gets activated and tweets away, I, I see Rob Bearden losing that one. All right. All right, coming up, we got Jim McHugh from Cisco. He's a bit, he's a Cube alumni, been on a few Cube interviews, um, versus Jack Norris of MapR. Who do you think? That's a tough one. We have an old, old, steady uh, player, Jack Norris from MapR, has been on the Cube many times, going back to the early days. But Jim McHugh is a new player. He had the Cisco event at Oracle Open World, which was a home run just in terms of overall traffic and reach. Um, he's, a, he's a strong player at Cisco. He's shaking the trees over there. I see Jim McHugh winning that one, hands down. All right. We got Amy Lewis from Solid Fire versus Mario Maribel Lopez from Lopez Associates. That's a tough one. The women in tech uh, battle right there in the bracket on that section of the tech athlete division. I have to give this one to Maribel Lopez. Being the analyst, she's got a huge following, uh, although Amy at Solid Fire is solid, pun intended, <laughs> um, at EMC World. Not sure Solid Fire has the, the Twitter following that Maribel has, so I'm gonna have to give that one to Maribel Lopez. Awesome, yeah, both great interviews. Okay, now we got some fun ones. Mario and Fafa, a uh, personal favorite of Jeff's, I know that one, uh, from Glove and Boots, the blog, and versus Jerry Chen from Greylock. What do you think? That's two awesome interviews. One was um, a comedy one. bit at HP Discover that Dave Vellante did that's probably one of the most funniest videos we have on theCUBE. Again, Jeff Frick loves that one, it's his favorite. Yeah. Jerry Chen from Greylock has got the hot hand. I'll see investor in Docker, the fastest growing cloud company. So you got a venture capitalist and you got puppets. <laughs> I don't know, it's a tough call. <laughs> I think I might have to give that one to um, Glove and Boots. Jerry Chen, you got some competition. Now I see Jerry Chen making that one because he, he had some good showing last last year and he's very active online and the venture capitalists follow, people follow the money so I give, I give, give this one to Jerry Chen. I might give that one to Mario and Fafa because it's, it's, a, it's a great interview. It's going to be a so tough call. Fun. Guy with the money and the guy with the laughs, who's going to win that one? It's so a tough one. Let's interject really quick. How are, how are these chosen? How do you guys pair these up, these matches up? 
the selection committee process is confidential and it's, it's <laughs> elaborate in, in nature. We go in huge lengths to decide who okay, deserves okay. to be in the bracket. And it comes down to the quality of the interview, um, the guest itself, the overall content, the interview, the number of views, everything. <laughs> it's a very complex algorithm. We apply machine learning and artificial <laughs> intelligence to the selection. Of Ariana. course, it's all about the data. All right, we got Mari Mike C Cord Cordona. Cordano, Cordano yeah. from HGST versus Craig McLucky from Google. Um, that's a tough one. The uh, HGST event was pretty solid this year. Um, they have really good presence online, but Greg McLu Craig McLucky from Google is a star in the tech community. He's Mr. Kubernetes. He's been on multiple times. Um, and so I'm going to have to give that one to the Google guy. All right. He moves in advances. Flo Liebert from Mesosphere versus Sandy Carter from IBM. This is a tough one. You have a, a DevOps geek and you have a cloud evangelist <laughs> who also is involved in the developer program at IBM. Um, she has got an awesome social media background. Mm -hmm. Sandy Carter wins this one hands down. That is unless the DevOps guys get focused because those guys are heavily, heavily heavy on, on Twitter. So yeah. that's going to be a very interesting battle. It's going to be a tough one to call, but I have to give it to Sandy Carter. Awesome. Yeah, I've seen Sandy Carter trending. She's all over the place right now. She might have the upper hand on that one. All right, we got Babby, Bobby Patrick from HP Cloud versus Alan Cohen from Illumino. Illumino. Illumio. Illumio. Yeah, so this is a battle of CMO. So this is going to be tough, Ariana. I got I to gotta say, Bobby Patrick is <laughs> young, strong at HP Cloud Group. He's an emerging leader. And you know what? He's cool, and he doesn't, doesn't hold it back any punches. Meanwhile, Alan Cohen is a pro. He is a <laughs> marketeer, uh, and he's got the hot hand at this company. Both uh, one was at Amazon reInvent. Alan Cohen uh, launched his company there, and obviously the HP discovered Bobby Patrick. So it's gonna be very interesting to see. I think this one's gonna be tight. I might have to give this one to Bobby Patrick on an edge. Alan Cohen's super busy, but he's got a huge following. So it's gonna be. This is gonna be potentially the upset one. I think uh, I'm gonna pick Bobby Patrick in an upset there. Yeah. And he's got a lot of Twitter followers as well, yeah. so that might be helpful. All right, well, that wraps up our tech athlete region. And we're really excited for this to, this to continue. We have um, the official voting begins on March 19th, this Thursday. So yeah. everyone should log in, give your own votes, give some insight on who you think will win, and we'll continue to check in throughout the week. It's going to be tough. I think the prediction will be, it's going to be a tough one. I think Sandy Carter is looking good out of that one. I like Jerry Chen in that bracket. And ultimately, I think it's going to be a Jim McHugh meets Jerry Chen. We'll see. I'm not sure. I think that's going to be that one. If I had to pick one, um, McHugh and Dell are going to battle in the final four in that bracket. Uh, versus uh, Sandy Carter and Jerry Chen. I think it might be Jerry Chen and Michael Dell, and I think Jerry Chen takes that, that bracket. So that's my prediction. Jerry Chen from Greylock wins the Tech Athlete Division. That's my prediction. Really? All right. Okay. You're watching the selection show for the Tech Athlete Division. We'll be right back.